We begin our journey into the world of laser physics by understanding the acronym. The term laser stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Each word in this acronym is a vital piece of the puzzle that makes up the fascinating world of lasers. Copyright Notice This video is protected by U.S. and international copyright laws. Unlawful duplication by any means without the express written consent of the author is strictly prohibited. 2023 on Murray J. Augencelio. In the state of California, it's important to note that not just anyone can operate a laser. It is a responsibility that falls upon authorized personnel. This includes trained professionals like registered nurse, physician assist, nurse practitioners, and medical doctors who have undergone the necessary laser safety training and certification. For other states, check your local regulatory agency requirements. Some states are more lenient than others. Any non-clinical, including estheticians, should not operate and handle this technology as they cannot intervene when complications occur, including death of the patient. The concept of the laser was first introduced by none other than the brilliant mind of Theodore H. Maiman. He was the first to build the laser and his contributions to the field have been monumental, shaping the way we understand and use lasers today. Properties of laser. The first property of lasers is its monochromaticity, which means light that consists of a single wavelength or color. One color per wavelength, for example, if 532 nanometers is green, it stays green. The second property of laser is its coherence, which means the laser waves are in phase, constructive, with each other, giving it the ability to not lose energy over far distances. The third property of laser is its beam collimation, which means the power stays in the beam. Section 3 Units used in lasers The first unit is power, usually measured in watts, W or milliwatts, MW. The power of a laser refers to the rate at which it delivers energy. Higher power lasers can cut or engrave materials and are used in industrial and surgical applications. Lower power lasers are often used in applications like laser pointers or optical transmission. The second unit used in lasers is called the joules. It tells us how fast and far the energy produce. In the context of lasers, the joule is often used to express the energy content of laser pulses. A laser pulse with energy measured in joules can have various effects depending on its power level, duration, and wavelength, affecting its applications in material processing, medical treatments, and other fields. Electromagnetic Spectrum Lasers can emit light across a wide range of the electromagnetic spectrum, from the ultraviolet UV. UV lasers emit light in the ultraviolet spectrum from 10 to 400 nanometers. These are often used for fine material processing, fluorescence excitation, and medical applications. Visible lasers emit light in the visible spectrum, approximately 400 to 700 nanometers. Examples include red lasers, around 650 nm, green lasers, around 532 nm, and blue lasers, around 404 to 5 nm. These are the lasers you commonly see in pointers, light shows, and optical data storage. Infrared lasers emit light in the infrared spectrum, 700 nanometers, 1 millimeters. These are often used in aesthetics, telecommunications, remote sensing, and military applications. The end. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share to those who think can benefit from this.